Hello, friends. So, uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to start a little series where I use the Code Wars website. It's just CodeWars.com as a way to teach programming. When I first started out, I was introduced to this platform, and I find that it's a good little place to find uh, exercises to keep your coding sharp. We're going to be doing this in Ruby today. Um, this is the one that I just happened to open to. It's 7KYU right here, so it's not hard. As these go down, these numbers go down to 654. They get harder, so that's what I plan to do with this series is start out pretty high level and then get harder as we go on. So let's take a look. This problem says create a function that returns the sum of the two lowest positive numbers given in an array of minimum four integers. No floats or empty arrays will be passed. Okay, cool. So for example, when an array is passed, like 19542, output should be seven because the lowest two numbers are two and five. Okay, so basically what we're gonna have to do, and what I like to do is kind of, um, just blankly kind of write down what I'm going to need to do. So I'm going to have to sort the array, sort uh, given array, and then um, add two lowest terms. All right? So shouldn't really be too hard. Um, let's go into IRV real quick. And let's do it like this. Let's say that we have an array and let's set that equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now what we should do is uh, we're going to have to sort this array so it's already sorted for us because that's the way that I entered it in but let's uh, use the shuffle method to shuffle the array. Okay so now we have 3, 5, 1, 4, and 2 and 1 and 2 should be our lowest two terms so how would we get those two terms. So there's a couple ways we could attack the problem. I think the best way to do it without even having to sort the array is you can use the dot min method and we can pass an argument of two and it will return an array with the two lowest integers. So you can also do r dot max and pass in two and it'll return the two highest arrays. And um, it doesn't change the original array, it keeps it the same. So let's use that r dot min two so we have an array of one and two. And then to add those two together, there's a couple ways that we can do it, but let's do it like this. Let's use the uh, dot reduce method. So we'll go r dot min, get those first two, and then we'll go dot reduce, and you can pass in an argument. We're just gonna add them together, and that's how you do that. And three is our output. So here's our code that we're gonna need to solve this problem. r dot min two dot reduce, uh, add them together. So we're not even going to have to sort the array. That's fine. We will add the two lowest terms. So we'll go numbers dot, and we're going to assume that this is an array that's passed in. We'll go min two dot reduce, and then we'll add them. Um, that should work. We'll just do a p. Well, I don't even know if we'll need to do a p there. We'll attempt it, and might work. Yep. Okay. Cool. So that worked. Uh, it passed all of our tests and everything's passing right here. So I'm going to do a lot more of these. That, that one was pretty easy. But it's a good thing to be able to see a problem and start figuring out ways to solve it fairly quickly. So that's just uh, the first in this series. So hope you liked it. Hope it helped. Take it easy.